don't have a lot of time to record today because I have to go to work. So today I figure we're going to spend a little bit of time making our tools. So I was looking over the stuff in here. The abilities are, you know, I mean, luck is really the only one that we care about here, but luck gets crazy expensive. So this is tier one luck. Copper ingots, lapis blocks, cornflower. That's easy enough. This one, I mean, gold, carrot, ender pearls, not bad. But then this one, rose gold, rabbit's foot, diamond, name tag. That's all stuff that I don't have access to. Unbreakable is another good one. But the problem with Unbreakable is it requires us to get um, level 5 reinforced. Which requires one upgrade slot per level. I don't know how many upgrade slots tools generally have. But I'm assuming it's not a ton. But So, looking at it, I think... What we're going to want is a mattock and a pickaxe, because, you know, those are our general tools that we usually want to have. Then I was like, what do we want for a weapon? Our options are sword, dagger, I suppose axe, pickaxe, all those things are technically weapons too. Or over here in the broad tools, we have cleaver, broad axe, Sledgehammer and vein hammer, both of which are, I mean, all of which are viable tools, but I think our best one is going to be this, so we can get beheading. With beheading, we can get these recapitated, grants one upgrade slot, so that I think, you know, combined together will be a good thing. As far as ingredients for what we want to use, that is where we get into the problem. Mostly because I realized this book doesn't have <laughs> stupid. I can't look at what the things do anymore. I have to go and make the books again. Bop. Give us two. So I don't have any way of looking at how to make, you know, an alloy. Or, well, I do, but like, right, I don't have access to these anymore. Because as I have found out, if we zoom over here, I don't think that this can alloy. I've got ink or gold and copper in here. And if we look at rose gold, I mean, it's three to one. So maybe that's why. Let's try this just to see if it works. So by that logic, do I have the ores in here? I did get some. Cobalt turns out you can mine it with iron. That's how easy a cobalt is. Bauxite is aluminum. Copper. There we go. Eventually I will be moving all this stuff over to here. But so in theory, if I put this in here, it should melt this down and give us rose gold in here. If that happens, that's perfect. Oh, it does. It does work just the way I wanted it to. Because I think what we want... So looking at the encyclopedia again here. We basically, I think, want to stick to Tier 3 or higher. I mean, Tier 4 is also pretty good, but Tier 3... I mean, Tier 2 is like, you know, garbage stuff. Like silver, slime, wood, yada, yada, yada. Rosen quartz... Golden Fern. These are things that I um, added. <laughs> I um, Annoyingly, it doesn't tell me about the tools that I added. I added another mod. It's like Tinker's Delight. Yeah. That added a war hammer, which, I mean, sounds pretty cool, but I don't know how to make it. Tinker Station. See, I don't have... I bet you I need an anvil. Looking at the anvils... Where did they go? Ba, 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 ba. They're expensive stuff. I don't have access to a lot of these materials. Like, this is a netherite anvil. Bronze. Brass, Electrum, Invar, Constantin. 
steel, indirium, lumium. Like bronze is probably going to be the easiest one to get. Copper and tin. Um, we actually might need that. I don't know if we can build a... Uh, what I want to build without it. So if I do this, though, I should be able to get a... Rosen quartz, or not a Rosen quartz, a um, rose gold. Look, 10 mining speed. That's the highest I've seen. Necrium. I'll look through the damage ones afterwards, because right now I'm more focused on um, getting a good pickaxe here. Going through here, I'm not seeing anything that's going to beat a 10. And it even comes with an enhancement slot. So, you know, like, even better. The question is, we need something in the handle slot that has good stats, too. Wood is always fun. I mean, wood is, you know, pretty basic. We might use it for the extra slot, actually, because it just gives us cultivated, which makes it repair faster. Or on its own, even. I wonder if they have Mending Moss again. Mending Moss was like one of the best things. Solar powered. Oh, right. He's eating all of my quartz. Sturdy is... 10% durability. Dwarven means you mine faster the lower we are. Uh, da, 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 da. Stone shield means you think you less likely to take damage. That would be pretty good. Scorching's not good. Airborne. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one's going to be the best. I mean, the slime steel. Probably, eh, I don't know. I don't like the slime parts of these. Attack damage up, but speed down. We're looking for something that has a high, uh, this Rosen Quartz. Lowers the durability, but does increase that. We don't need sharpness, though. Bronze, maintain. Bronze might work. Constantin is, eh. Actually, Electrum is pretty good, but minus durability. I could just do Cobalt. Yeah, Cobalt's going to be the way to go. As it starts to turn to nighttime. So there's our pickaxe head. We're already making a huge mess of our thing over there. Oh. Oh, I also found a cat. Not not this cat. This cat. Ocelot pet. It was up in uh, that one over there. Now that I have a flight, you know, I can just go wherever I want. So we're going to need lots of copper and tin. So here's the thing. I have all of this gold in here now. But I needed to not be in there. So we're going to have to get rid of a lot of this stuff in here. Because I want to melt... If I melt copper, it's going to combine with the gold right now to make... Uh... Oops, don't do that. We gotta get rid of the resources that we don't want in here. Right, I think now we can 
shove in all the copper and stuff because we should get rid of the last of the gold. I don't know how much bronze this is going to make. Not enough. That is the answer. It's not enough. We need more copper, which I think I know where we can find more. I have been slowly, but surely, building a uh, tunnel system down here. It doesn't really lead anywhere at the moment, but there's tin, here's some copper. I mean, I have to come down here and grab all these resources at some point, but right now I'm really only concerned about the copper. That and getting out of here is a pain in the butt. As always, I mean, <laughs> it's not designed to be uh, you know, super accessible. got copper tin what are we missing here then? why does it not make more bronze have to be a specific type of copper I don't know so these are going to be helpful these corn flowers all right now we've made maybe too much bronze but also, maybe not. So we need seared stones. Which I could just snack some off the top of this. We need three of these. This is like cheaper isn't it <laughs> why is this one just strictly cheaper climb up there we go like I'm not crazy right like that one's just strictly cheaper than the other one Advanced tool making. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, see. Here's what we needed. Because now we can make all the stuff. Oh, here's how we do this. It's a knife on a long pole. Or hammer. It's slow, but it packs a punch. Why does it have a blade on it? I suppose Warhammers would have blades on the back of them. But I don't think that we want those. I feel like our best bet is going to just be the cleaver. So the question is though, so we got the lightweight with all the slight buffs, but not ton of buffs. What do we want our last thing to be? We got, we could go momentum with uh hepatzian hepatzian which is actually not that hard to make it is a little bit of copper cobalt and obsidian which of course we just turned all of our copper into bronze let's uh, get rid of the tin in here we can melt one of those we're gonna run out of lava it's not good Luckily, I know where to get more lava, too. I had a uh, drop bear follow me through the portal earlier. <laughs> they do pack a bit of a punch. 
Um, nothing that we couldn't take. I thought I, I thought I just came out at a different location again. I was like, what? There we go. Lava has been collected. Yeah, I was reading my uh, book in the nether. Not the best idea. But then again, when have I been known for having good ideas? Should keep it fueled for a while. How much tin do we have left? Just two ingots of it. The problem is I've now used. Oh no! Don't do that. Just used up all of that copper that we got making bronze. What does bronze have for? Uh, I think it's gonna be a tier two, right? No, tier three. Bronze. Maintained. Which I mean isn't the worst. But the idea is that we just make this thing super uh, powerful anyway. And then it doesn't have to. There we do have more copper in here anyway. Don't even have to worry about it. And I think it's just one. One ingot of cobalt, yeah. And this is for our tool binding, I believe, is what we are missing at the moment. Yeah, tool binding. Snag that, grab our tool binding. Alright, am I missing something here? Alloy smeltery controller. Oh, it needs. Uh, 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 I see. That's annoying. I need to get blaze heads to do this. <laughs> it's not a high enough temperature to um smelt this or to alloy it. Turns out lava, not the strongest thing in the world, or the hottest thing in the world. It can get hotter. That's a little annoying because, um, yeah. <laughs> well, so if we look at the other, the other thing that we want is high damage. Okay. Seeing 2, 2.5, 2, 3.5 for manulelium. True damage per level after eight consecutive hits. See, that's like not even worth it. Three for this. But I don't want, you know, to be on fire. Two, 2.5 for cobalt. 2.7. Five. Get the K. That also grants the K to me as well. 2.5 for Invar. 2.75 for steel. Rosen quartz only is 1.5, but then it also gives sharpness, so that you know seems weird. 2.5, 3 for this lacerating. That actually might be the best one. Oops, it's nighttime. Don't want to get killed. All right, how fast can we make Nahatul? Obsidian poured over a plank. How many do we need for a... Uh... It doesn't tell us the casting requirements. I mean, over here it should tell us. 
pattern costs eight. <sighs> That's a little pain in the butt. That means we have to do eight of these. I don't even have obsidian. I only got this obsidian from the nether. I have no way of mining it at the moment. <laughs> That's why I wanted this. It's got pretty low durability is the problem. I think, you know, but it's going to be increased by that. Right, 175. Not great. We can give it, you know, on breaking and stuff. The problem is that does remove haste. I assume haste is going to be, uh, requires one upgrade slot per level, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have no way of combining these. Not hot wool is going to be very expensive. Not something that we are going to be capable of doing at the moment. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did not really accomplish anything today, did we? I have to I don't have any time left to do things. I have to go get ready for work, so kind of a bit of a waste, but hey. We at least are learning more about this new Tinker's world. There's a lot to uh lot to take into account with all the new things that they've got added to it in one point. Or I think we're in one point sixteen. So like you know, we got all the new stuff. But uh, anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you around for the next one.